Hello, my name is Mary Murphy, and the topic that I chose for this presentation is hyperthyroidism. Uh, in 2019, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer, and I had to get 26 lymph nodes taken out. They took out my entire thyroid gland and a parathyroid. Now, hypothyroidism is a condition in which the thyroid gland does not produce enough thyroid hormone. So, I have to take a medication that gives me that hormone replacement, um, and I have to take it every day, which we will talk about medications further on in the presentation. The contents of this PowerPoint, we will talk about signs and symptoms, causes, diagnosis, medications, prevention, management, history, and prevalence. Signs and symptoms. Now, I have extreme fatigue, so I am tired every day no matter how much sleep I get. Uh, I also have cold sensitivity, which I'm either really, really hot or really, really cold. There's no in-between. And it all depends on how high or low my levels are. Um, you can also get constipation and dry skin. I have extremely dry skin, which is very annoying. Uh, unexplained weight gain. I gained a lot of weight in when I first started college and it just wasn't the freshman 15 that everybody was talking about. Uh, people can also experience hair loss and hair dryness and my hair is very dry. Uh, when I was first diagnosed with cancer, I lost a lot of hair before I had any kind of treatment or surgery done. The causes. Um, if your thyroid doesn't produce enough uh, hormones, the balance of the chemical reactions in your body can get upset. There can be several causes, including autoimmune disease, uh, hyperthyroidism, which is the complete opposite of hypothyroid, uh, radiation therapy, thyroid surgery, and certain medications. So, um, yeah, it's a lot. Uh, the hormones that we talk about are T3 and T4, and that's what they look for to see if your levels are too high or too low. Um, that's, they're produced by the thyroid gland and it can have a huge impact on your health. Diagnosis, it's really hard to diagnose. Everybody is different based off of their symptoms. So they look at the symptoms that you have and they uh, check your blood test results that measures the level of TSH and sometimes the level of thyroid hormone thyroxine. So they look to see if those levels are too high or too low to see if you have um, hypothyroidism. Medications, I take levothyroxine and there's also um, Synthroid and Turosonit, or Turosotent, sorry, Unithroid and Unithroid Direct. I've never really heard of those two. I've always taken levothyroxine and I've been on every single dose because they can't get my levels regulated for some reason. Um, I also took a radioactive iodine pill after my surgery to see if they got all of the cancer and I had to go on a no iodine diet for two weeks, which was horrible. Would not recommend. Prevention, you can't really prevent it. I couldn't find a lot of information on that, unfortunately. I think you either just get it or you don't. Management, the best way to manage hypothyroidism is to take a hormone replacement pill, which I do every day. And if I don't, I, I get headaches and I'm very tired, which I'm tired all the time anyway, like I said before. Um, it restores adequate hormone levels, which reverses the symptoms. So if your levels are too high, they want your levels to be high, usually if you have any lymph nodes that come back because they want to kill any of that cancerous tissue that could possibly be there. History, the first case of hypothyroidism was myxedema and it was in the 1850s. Uh, 50 years later, they found a treatment and it was effective. Another 50 years later, autoimmune thyroiditis was uh, ascertained as the most frequent cause of hypothyroidism. It can be found in both male and females, but it's more commonly found in females. And here are my works cited, and I hope you enjoyed this presentation.